We're down at Panorama Catering with WA Food Ambassador Don Hansey. Don, you're gearing up for the Augusta Seafood Discovery Lunch, which is a big part of Gourmet Escape on November 18. Um, you've got a couple of chefs that you're going to be cooking with. Uh, tell us how you met them and who they are. Well, at last year's Gourmet Escape, Denise, we did the inaugural um, seafood lunch on the Augusta Marina. And in the audience was a, a great guy uh, called Bruce Chung, who um, owns Pardue Station up in the north. And he loved what we were doing about promoting West Australian product. And he, we had a long chat afterwards and he said, look, would you mind coming to China to do a dinner specifically 100% WA food, beverage, wine, spirits and beers? So, of course, I jumped at the idea and part of that dinner we did in Shenzhen, which was for 354 people, we worked with 10 of China's top chefs and we made two of these top chefs food envoys or WA food envoys um, as part of the, the East Meets West WA experience. And um, so luckily this year we're bringing those same two Chinese chefs over to help us cook at Gourmet Escape. So we've got uh, Chef Chen and Chef Tang coming over. You're going to be showing them a beautiful part of our state. What, what's um, a highlight for you down there and what do you really want them to experience? These guys will get out to, uh, to see an abalone boat in action. They'll see a lobster boat in action. They'll meet a fisherman that's supplying us with fresh whiting. Um, we've got some other stunning peel mullet coming down from Mandurah. So they'll actually get to see where their products are coming from and once you sort of get a taste of that you never forget that. Look I, I think um, the Chinese market have realised that Western Australia has some of the strictest um, sort of health and hygiene regulations in the world and we've got some of the most sustainable fisheries in the world so why not buy off uh, fishermen that, that fish sustainably and absolutely value and look after their products. You, you, I don't think you could get fresher, you know, primer products than what WA can supply to the Chinese market and they're very appreciative of fresh food. Just about to put some abalone caught in Augusta by our fisherman Brad Adams, Adams um, in the fry pan here. Now this has to be done really quickly. Walk us through the process. Well look, it's a green lip abalone which comes off the coast of Augusta. Beautiful big abs. They, they, because it's a muscle it's quite solid and tough so I've sliced these very thin and I'm just going to quickly sear them in a West Australian olive oil no seasoning and a little bit of uh, lemon juice and a little bit of parsley at the end because they're such a unique flavour and because they live in the ocean they've got this beautiful oceany flavour. And the, the abalone from Augusta what's so special about that? Um, the size uh, it, there's two or three different varieties of abs you get off um, the coast of WA you've got the green lip the brown lip uh, and the row eye and uh, the green lip are the ones that are the Asian market absolutely love and uh, and they pay a really high premium for it so it really adds to WA's exports um, when we can export abalone and some of it goes live to different parts of China. This will be very quick, a little bit of oil, basically get this in. So we're getting a beautiful flavour off that. You get that smell? Yeah. A little bit of wind blowing that out, but never mind. Now that's almost done. A little bit of lemon. A little bit of fresh. And that is it. And that's the beauty of abalone. Now, most people wouldn't eat it like this because it's too expensive. So what the, the Asian chefs do is, is toss it through... Um, rice and other vegetables to kind of extend the flavour. Do you mind if I try? Oh my god. Okay. Yeah? Come on. How simple is that? How good is that? Look. It's good. Yeah. It's my that. first taste of abalone. Please? Yeah. Oh.